Today, I want to talk a bit about the idea of length. We all have an intuitive notion of what length is. For example, we would think that the open interval from 0 to 1 of having a length 1. The union of these intervals as having a length of 2.5 and this set of points as having length 0. But can every subset of the real numbers be assigned a suitable length so that it conforms to our intuitive notion of length? To answer this question, we have to unpack what we mean by the two parts of this question. The first part of the question simply means to find a function which we will denote by L from all subsets of R, the real numbers, to the non-negative real numbers and infinity. We allow infinity so that, for example, the open ray can be assigned a length of infinity. Now, if I were to have a length that behaves like what we expect, what are some reasonable requirements we want to impose on L? Well, first, we may want the length of closed intervals to be exactly what we expect. Second, we want length to be translationally invariant. That is, if we slide a subset S by a real number R, the length should stay the same. The last condition is called countable ad additivity. It means that if we have finite or countably infinitely many subsets which are disjoint, the length of them put together is simply the sum of their individual length. Before moving on, I want to remark that we also have the condition that if S is a subset of T, then the length of S is at most the length of L. But this is not an additional requirement because it is implied by condition 3. Simply break up T into S and T minus S and apply condition 3. I wanted to point out this uh, additional remark because we will be using this in our discussion later. So now we have only imposed three seemingly modest conditions. Do you think we can achieve what we want? Well, it turns out the answer to this question is no. And now we will discuss an interesting set called the Vitali set, for which no suitable length can be assigned without violating our requirements. The construction is slightly intricate, but it will contain a lot of beautiful ideas. We begin by taking the set of real numbers in the interval 0, 1, and partition them into equivalence classes, which is a fancy way to say split them up. We will actually partition them into infinitely many equivalence classes, but for the purposes of illustration, I can only show finitely many classes here. So what is the rule that decides if two real numbers belong to the same equivalence class? Well, we define A to be equivalent to B if A minus B is a rational number. Now to put together a Vitali set, we choose one real number from each equivalence class and put them all together into a set, which we shall call V for Vitali. And this is our Vitali set. That's all there is to it. We will now prove that it is not possible to assign any length to a Vitali set without violating our requirements. To do this, we are going to consider translated copies of V. Let us introduce a notation for this. For Q a rational number, we let V plus Q denote the copy of our Vitali set with Q added to each member. One important fact that we will need is that if P and Q are different rational numbers, then V plus P and V plus Q will be disjoint. We can quickly convince ourselves on why this must be so. For example, if one representative plus P equals another representative plus Q, then the differences of the two representatives is a rational number. However, they were chosen from different equivalence classes, and therefore we have a contradiction and this is not possible. And now we enumerate all the rational numbers in the interval minus 1 to 1, which we call is countably infinite. We can then look at the union of all of the following disjoint sets. V plus Q1, V plus Q2, V plus Q3, and so on. One thing you'll notice is that this union must lie in the interval from minus 1 to 2 because we only shift our Vitali set at most by one unit to the left or right. 
Another observation that is slightly trickier is that every real number in the interval 0 to 1 must appear in the union. Why is that? Any real number r in 0 to 1 belongs to some equivalence class and differs from the corresponding representative in the Vitali set by a rational number. So v plus that rational number will cover the r of interest. So what does all this mean? Well, all these infinite copies of v must have the same length, and their total sum must lie between 1 and 3 inclusive, therefore. There is no such possible number that we can assign to the length of v. Long story short, we cannot assign a length to every subset of the real numbers. In particular, we have constructed a Vitali set for which we showed that this is not possible. Mathematicians have instead considered only uh, assigning length to some subsets of R, called the Lebesgue measurable sets. And for these subsets, the length function is called the Lebesgue measure. The Lebesgue measurable sets include uh, subsets of the real number which we commonly encounter, such as intervals and rays, and much more. However, this is a topic for more advanced math class. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoy it. And in the next video, I will discuss a related topic that happens to be my favorite paradox in math. See you soon.